Hey guys, ladies and gentlemen, how's everybody making out today? It is Friday morning, uh, 10.22 a.m. And, um, well, guys, I'm going to try and break this down in the best possible way that I can. Uh, this is a piece, that, the newest uh, piece that uh, GEC uh, came out with. Now, GEC in the past has made quite a few of these, and there's like this big series of them. I saw pictures, uh, I think, on a Facebook page, a GEC Facebook page. A gentleman had every one of them. Um, there, there's a lot of different ones that you can acquire um, with this uh, beaver series. It's it's the beaver tail. You know, it has the beaver inlay on it, and it's a whole thing. Um, <sighs> I'm just trying to explain it to you. It comes in this very, very exotic uh, cherry wood um, and sourcing this stuff and all this stuff. It, it's a big thing, but I'm getting ahead of myself too much. But when I saw this one come up, there was quite a few listings for it on eBay and it was what I saw it for 188 dollars now to me i thought it was a fantastic price in the beginning not even realizing how big of a knife this was i didn't think it was going to be this big i thought it would have been more or less on the 15 pattern uh like a 15 size this the length of it is more like pushing like a 77 almost it's a pretty darn big uh knife um and i was pleasantly pleasantly surprised the tube you can see by the tube this is a pretty gosh darn big tube um that's what i want to show you too you've got the titty uh cutlery up top here uh naturally you got the little, little beaver on the top look so this is the beaver tail, traditional sportsman knives. Great Eastern cutlery. It has the uh, address, which I hope to someday go there. I've got it on my bucket list to go visit their company. Um, the tube itself, you've got the pattern up here, which is an 87 pattern. 22, 23 is the year. Uh, the two there is a two-bladed configuration, and that one is, uh, I don't know, <laughs> whatever it is, it is, but it make, it gets even better. So anyway, wait till you see this. It's Jig Brazilian Cherry Wood, but wait, but wait, there's more. Check this out. If you guys know anything about GEC knives, this is another reason why I picked this up. Now, we're going to dissect this and look at these blades. Look how nice and this clip blade is. Man, this thing. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Stamped right there for your love. PPP in the circle. So now what's that stand for, ladies and gentlemen? P Pattern Production Premier. That stands for Pattern Production Premier. This knife, ladies and gentlemen, has never been out before. It's a brand new pattern. That's what that means. Pattern Production Premier. They, there is no, these are brand new out. So GEC, in other words, to put it in uh, simple terms, GEC has never made this knife before, this pattern. This is a brand new pattern in GEC's lineup, what you're looking at right here. It's brand new. So it's cool to get the PPP because it's like an original. Uh, it's like, you know, the first time, you know, it just makes it... Just a little bit more special, you know what I mean, to me. You know what I mean? I'm just a crazy nut GEC guy. But you've got um, 
on the uh, this blade here, you've got the beaver tail uh, with the beaver, which is really cool. Um, the other side has got the PPP. You've got the GEC Titusville PA on the uh, the back side. And uh, let's see if we wait till you see this. Now, look how big that pen blade is. That pen, that pen blade is huge, huge pen blade. Um, let's fold it down into its configuration and I'll give you a look at it if I can. Uh, let's see what we're doing here first. This is a jackknife, guys. This is what, this is what, this is what this knife is. It's a jackknife. And to be quite honest with you guys, I did not think it was going to be this big, okay? Look how beautiful that cherry wood is. Tell me that that cherry wood isn't the most, simply the most beautiful cherry wood you've ever seen. Now, you've got a long pull here. Nice big long pen blade here. Uh, you've got the inlay of the beaver, which I'll show you a little bit more of in a second. But let's get back to the price. This was $188. And I'm telling you now, you're getting a lot of knife here for $188, man. It's It doesn't come up like this much with GEC... Uh, uh, knives guys this doesn't happen very often where you're getting all this knife for $188 it's well worth the $188 and if there's any left I'd highly recommend people jumping over there and hopping on this thing um I mean it's just a it, 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 it's a fantastic piece I'm going to show you it um hold on a minute I didn't clean this thing yet. See, now look at what you're looking at there. Okay, look at the back spine on that. Now, you could you, you could sit there and get a glass of water and pour a glass of water down in that channel there. You can pour a glass of water down in that channel, and you won't get no water out them uh, liners. Look how tight that is. The fit and finish, you're looking at it with me. Look how tight everything's put together. Look at the blade centering. Look how centered that clip blade is in there. It's hard, man, to get a two-blade knife as centered as... It's very difficult. It's very difficult. They, they pull it off every single dark, gosh darn time. Let's look at the look at that cherry wood. How beautiful that jigging is on that cherry wood, guys. I'm telling you, man. I I I you know, you all know. Uh, this is my passion. This is my love. GEC knives. Um, it's I, I've been at this game for many years, and um, I just I I, I just I, it's a feeling of. I just can't get over the feeling. You know what I mean? Uh, let's yank open this blade again. I can't believe the size of this knife. It's a nice size piece, guys. This is a, I'm, I'm a full grip on here, man. I got a large size hand and I'm getting full purchase, full, um, all my hand wrapped right around that comfortably. And you can see that clip blade, how nice uh, the size of that clip lead, you can see it. You can clearly see how nice that clip is. That big, you know, size of it. Uh, I don't know what else to say, really. I mean, it's a pattern production premier piece. You've got this beautiful um, Brazilian uh, cherry wood. You've got the uh, super cool beaver inlay on it. Um, two blade configuration. You got this little pen blade here. Well, it's not little, but I'm going to keep that open separately. Look at that, man. Look at that, dude. 
So if you got it in hand and you need to use this pen blade, look at the size of it. I am just digging this wood totally. Uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm just thrilled, man. I like, I, I really, the, the, the wood is just that jigged uh, wood is really, really hot. These brass pins are just beautiful. Yeah, I, I mean it's a good one. I mean it's it, it's a it's it's better than I thought it was going to be. You know what I mean? I thought it was going to be a small little guy. A hundred and eighty-eight dollars. I'm going to go ahead and say this is my uh, so far. This might be my um, this might be my knife of the year, and it's a GEC because I'm telling you. This knife is not a lot of money for what you're getting. $188. I this knife this knife was would easily go for $250 to $300. This is this is like a this is like a $300 knife. I, I would think that this would be closer somewhere along those lines of around $300. 188 bucks? You're under 200 bucks for this, man. You're under 200 and it's a big piece, man. I'm telling you, it's a, it's a pretty big knife. It's a pretty gosh darn big knife. I can hardly keep it in screen. I'm super stoked, guys. I am just, I'm super happy to, I, I'm just super happy I snagged this one and it's in the collection. She's home. She made it to her, uh, destination she has made it to her destination and um you know like we said guys too with this with these knives here we talked about what we pay for these knives and we never use them or carry them and they just get tucked away i'm gonna start carrying mine i'm gonna start um i said i was and that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna ca i'll carry i'm gonna carry this um now, will I baton through trees with it and all that? But no, no. But I'll use it for daily, my daily tasks, what I need to use it for. And it, the, no, this, the knife's not going to get hurt if I use it for just daily uh, chores. You know what I mean? And I could still appreciate it and carry it. Guys, this is just a quick first impressions of this piece. I just wanted to give you a look at it. I couldn't wait. The seller was fantastic. Um, he got it right out. Sometimes the seller makes you wait, man. And I'm like, are you kidding me? This guy is making me wait like a week and a half, two weeks just to send something. You know we're knife guys. You know we want the knife. But yet he's sitting on it. This guy... I ordered, I just ordered this a couple, uh, just a couple days ago. It's here. Just a couple days ago. I was it. But just a wonderful piece, guys. Um, I'm going to do a, uh, full review on it. Um, let me know what you think about this piece, please. Let me know what you think about this, uh, cherry wood. Just let me know what you think about the whole piece. Do you think it's worth 188 bucks? That's the main question. Anyway, guys, I'm going to let you get down the road. Um, I greatly appreciate you uh, sticking with me. And um, let me know what you guys think. I, I, I really would appreciate it. All right, guys, be good, be well, be safe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care now.